I give you the success of our brilliant secret mission and also a safe and honest passage to Greece. Here, here. I don't see how you can drink this stuff, man. Are you kidding, really man? You ought to try this, because this is a Morocco mule. Oh, yeah. I invented it myself as a trick on somebody else, and now I'm tricking myself. Yes, yeah. Oh, I can't stand this stuff myself. No. Oh. Can I use it? Oh, was that right? Oh, how come? My, uh, my Uncle Herman, he was, uh, he was a mailman. Yes. All right, uh, continue. Well, uh, government employees, like mailmen, have special excursions, uh, Uncle Herman went to Atlantic City. Sam, Sam. You can figure out the rest for yourself. Yeah. <clears throat> well, he sent home a five-pound box of candy. Rum caramel candy. And I was the only one home to receive the package. And uh, I opened it up and I started to eat. You got uh, turned on by... Uh, by car uh, caramel uh, candies flavored with rum? In an hour, I was hooked. I knew my mom was going to be coming home, so I took the rum-flavored caramel and I started hiding them around in my socks and my shoes and behind the radio, places like that. And it was one heck of a weekend. There I was, going around eating rum caramel without even sharing it with anybody. That's awful. That's the most horrible. Sad thing. What happened in the long run? Six cavities. And uh, I took the pledge against demon rum. Well, I'd drink then, in that case, to the... <clears throat> to the sincerity and continued uh, auspiciousness of your pledge against the demon himself. <laughs> <laughs>